Welcome back to XDA TV. Today I'm reviewing a keyboard preview that promises to give you great customization, themes, uh, great library of emoticons, and is, is promising to also deliver some of the main benefits from the main popular keyboard like Swipe, SwiftKey, Glow, or even the regular SwiftKey, uh, and available in free form and pro version. Let's check it out. <laughs> The article was featured on the XDA portal by Joe. It goes through and explains a little bit about some of the main features of the keyboard, but the main benefit I guess that most people will realize is that there's a lot of keyboard options available for Android. And a lot of them will do certain things in good ways and some of them won't even do that. And the main benefit, you know, if you start comparing to swipe or even swift key is that, you know, you have the swiping ability, the predictive text and the ease and the seamlessness of use. Um, what we have here is a short list of some of the main benefits that the developer, Kai developer actually, the, this keyboard that we're reviewing, uh, puts out there and it just gives you a little bit of some of the things to make you uh, look forward to trying this out. Let's go ahead and check out the forum thread. Uh, again, the, this is uh, posted by Kai developer. He's a junior member at this time, but hopefully will gain popularity very soon. Gives the same list um, and there's some great reviews also in the thread. Uh, we have a link to the Google Play Store. And the keyboard that we're reviewing is the free version of the application. There is a pro for an additional cost, but overall, um, it works very nice. It has support for 34 different languages and it gives us a little bit of screenshots, a uh, real quick uh, walkthrough, and as you can see, a lot of good reviews. Let's check it out on the phone. Go ahead and open up the application on the Google Play Store from your phone. Look for Kai Keyboard by Kai Dev version 1.1.1. January 8th is the last update that they provided us. Go ahead and open. The keyboard, when you first install it, needs to be set up as swipe or, or uh, swift key. You just basically have to go in there and turn it on and make it default. They give you quite a quite an extensive list of customization options, but one of the main things also is the ability to contact the developer. The uh, the options are very similar to some of the other keyboards. You get the keyboard layout, custom uh, you know customizations and size, color font, general sound vibration. The gesture input is the really nice feature here. Uh, this is where it mimics the Swift Key Glow or the swipe options as far as swiping and being able to do predictive texting. They also have an option in the premium version that enables gesture control. Now this is quite nice if you're in the middle of you know texting or editing and you're in a hurry and you just swipe left or swipe left, uh, swipe right or swipe up and it turns on certain features of the keyboard. But again, this is provided in the premium version of the application. The language and dictionaries, it supports up to 34 languages. The English is the only one that I have installed currently. Um, so overall, you know, the list is quite extensive. And uh, you're able to add, add, add on dictionaries. The other thing is also the text shortcuts, the ability to add your shortcuts if you type things in a certain way and you like them to be spelled out. For speed and accuracy, it is also has the ability to add your own customizations. So let's go ahead and dive in with the application itself and see how it looks like. Um, so out of, out of the door, you'll notice that it takes the same amount of space as a regular keyboard with the additional bar on the top. Now, this is where you get the option to be able to go into your settings for this keyboard. Um, it does swipe like a regular keyboard. And then, you know, and, and you're, you're able to basically, um, if you find a key and you want, let's say you want to be able to edit this, uh, this task, I just press and hold and it gives me the entire list of the options that it could have been or what it needs to be or what I, what it could be. So I just wanted to choose how and that's what I wanted to do. Um, it has the option of a little bit of changing D-pad. You have the emoticons, the directional, um, heart symbols, you know, the, your number key and your other symbols. Um, I find it that it's uh, quite easy to just basically, you know, do highlight or cut and paste. If you like to use Google Voice typing, hello, how are you today? And, you know, again, you have the number key on the top and it has pretty good predictive texting, you know, similar to some of the other main keyboards. If we compare it real quick to uh, an example would be is the Swift key. The, the flow beta that's going on right now. You notice the keys are a little raised in different themes. You're able to change the setup on the on that keyboard, so it's not that big of a, a concern there. And the, you know, and uh, I think you know SwiftKey does a great job. But again, it's the the factor that this application in free form does very well, and that's where the really really nice options. And again, if we just go ahead and quickly just compare it to Swipe, again. The structure is slightly different, but other than that, I think they, they all look pretty much the same uh, and it works very nice.
When I first installed this keyboard on my phone, I really didn't think I was going to be using this as a daily driver. I thought it was going to be an application I was just going to install and review and it gave me the impression that this is a keyboard that has a lot of potential. The update frequency and the support that's provided by the developer is very nice. I use it both on the Galaxy S3 and the Note 2 and it works very very nicely. On the Transformer Prime it was a little bit different uh, when I tried using the split keyboard and I tried installing it and then trying to use it as opposed to the swipe keyboard that I'm normally used to using there. Now uh, again, the free form has a lot of benefit. It gives you the, the main benefits of swiping and predictive text that you're used to from SwiftKey uh, as well or SwiftKey Glow or as well as swipe. Uh, but it gives it to you in a nice free form and the ability to do gesture control and, and theming and changing different things is just what makes it even better. I think uh, maybe as a one request I probably would like to be able to see is the ability to do gesture control and swiping at the same time. Right now it's either one or the other. I understand the limitation there. Uh, please check it out, download the application. It's available on the Google Play Store. Again, um, also the information on the, on the XDA developer site. Uh, like and subscribe, let me know what you guys think and I will see you guys next week.